Alright kids, welcome to week 10 of lockdown here in Ohio where the school year is almost over, my bedroom is still my office, and the last dance is over so I have nothing to watch but the news. Now if you're watching this from Ohio, or anywhere else in the country actually, you may be saying that pretty much everything is reopened by now. And you're right. But lockdown continues in the Wiggins household, and you'll see in a few minutes, coronavirus will spike again soon. This past Friday in the Buckeye State, bars and restaurants that feature outdoor dining spaces were allowed to serve customers under certain guidelines, which include requiring staff and customers to wear face coverings, limiting capacity, and social distancing. And, as expected, people wasted no time in disregarding all of that. Pictures and videos displaying this fact from bars and restaurants all around Ohio were shared on social media, as you can see from this video. Now, this one was recorded at Standard Hall, a restaurant in the short north where a lot of Columbus's best restaurants are located. On Instagram, a queen named Lindsay posted this from her account and did so in order to relay the information to Governor Mike DeWine. And if you're wondering why someone would go to a restaurant in order to eat and then record this video, well, she didn't. She screen recorded someone else's video who made his account private shortly after posting it himself. To give Lindsay more credit, not only did she link Governor Mike DeWine, she also reached out to the owner of Standard Hall. More on that in a second. Yes, I made the mistake of going in the comment section of her post, which, as far as I'm concerned, of course isn't as dangerous as coronavirus, but I did put on the gloves and a mask before going in there. Anyway, I'm happy to report that most of the comments in the post were Columbus natives condemning not only the customers, but Standard Hall for not adhering to restrictions. Now, one comment stood out the most because I thought this guy was an owner of Standard Hall boasting about how Corso Ventures has brought so many great concepts to the short north and has revived, single-handedly, the nightlife in Columbus. And he's not wrong, but that's not what we're talking about. This man is a stand of the actual owner, Chris Corso of Corso Ventures, short north developer, restaurateur, and businessman. How he responds in the near future could make things worse for himself because with a lot of people, he already has a bad reputation. So, through the eyes of the people, today we're going to talk about Chris Corso, the response to the pictures and videos of Standard Hall to this point, and how it pertains to reopening Ohio. Before I continue with all this news I've been watching in between episodes of The Last Dance, I'm disappointed that people are still comparing coronavirus deaths to car accident deaths. It bothers me because it's not an appropriate comparison but mostly because, after R. Kelly, I thought we all agreed to stop needlessly comparing people to cars. Anyway, back to reopening Ohio. In other national news, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine was on CNN Sunday morning when he was asked about the pictures and videos from Standard Hall. I saw those images um, very early. Uh, we had people there last night. Uh, the good news is that uh, the ownership, uh, people running the bar, uh, seemed to get control of it last night. We didn't have to issue any citations. Again, that owner is Chris Corso, and according to the Columbus Dispatch, Columbus public health officials continually monitored Standard Hall on Saturday and issued repeated warnings about overcrowding. Now, I've already explained who Corso is as far as some of his titles and business ventures. Evidently, he's the kind of guy who responds to a patron who posted a video about concerns with his establishment that she runs her mouth a lot. He added that he doubts she ever met him and that if she has an issue, she could hit him directly, which she did, but he didn't at her when he said any of this. And if he's never met her, how does he know she runs her mouth a lot? I'm not in public relations, although I did read a lot about Kroger's public relations for last week's video, go and check that out, but I think it would be easier for Chris Corso to link a Columbus native who contacted him on Instagram to an Instagram post he created outlining Standard Hall's plans and safety measures for reopening during COVID-19, and how he understands her concerns, yet assures her as a potential customer and member of the community, while thousands of people are watching, that this will be fixed before dining services begin. Earlier this year, Short North Food Hall, a nightclub owned by Corso, issued a dress code which drew the attention of people on social media, a member of city council, and the Columbus Urban League, amongst others. It's clear that there's a certain demographic being targeted here, but Corso will go on to acknowledge wrongdoing, apologize, change the dress code, and work with civil rights groups from around Columbus. It's also worth noting that some of his nightclubs in the past have had issues with violence. To be fair, Chris Corso has partnered with Urban Meyer for doing better together in order to feed the less fortunate of Columbus. Corso also fought to keep cabs available in front of his nightclubs in order to get people to and from them safely, despite the city being against it due to traffic concerns. With all of that being said, it makes his initial response 
before CNN and Mike DeWine mentioned the restaurant. Confusing. Plus, Chris's people must have caught wind of the social media pushback that was going on Friday because they posted this on their Instagram story. Very selective of you to choose these pictures, and honestly, an aerial view does show that they are abiding by social distancing measures. But, based on the pictures posted on Twitter, I say your pictures are misleading. The timeline of these pictures makes it look like this blurry one was taken from a moving car as it went by. And then later, in amazement, got out of the car to take another picture from a distance. I'm not asking for people to continue to quarantine and stay inside instead of going out to eat. I'm not asking people to boycott Standard Hall. I mean, who am I? I just run my mouth a lot. I am asking Chris Corso and his restaurants to follow guidelines and enforce the rules. I'm also asking Governor DeWine to penalize establishments that aren't doing what's necessary to keep people safe. It's clear that Chris Corso, his restaurants, and other business ventures hold a certain amount of influence in the short north and in the city of Columbus at large. So you would think someone with his stature would respond differently or better to individuals. But you just know Corso wouldn't dare tell news and media outlets that they run their mouths. Oh, and I haven't seen any other comment from him since all of this got out. On his Facebook page, Standard Hall wrote, after a positive interaction with local police, fire, and health representatives, moving forward, we will be asking customers to stay seated at their tables and be cognizant of the distance between themselves and other groups. Before I close, I'm not trying to bash this guy. What happened at Standard Hall is happening all over Ohio, but dining services will begin Thursday the 21st. Franklin County, the state's most populated county, also has recorded the most cases. As of this past weekend, there were 90 new coronavirus infections to bring its case total to 4,420 with the pandemic in its third month. Franklin County also reported 13 more deaths. Chris Corso owns a lot of restaurants, bars, and nightclubs in the city. If you ran each of them like he did with Standard Hall this past Friday, there will definitely be a spike in new cases, and its businesses will be ground zero. The nation has peeked in on you, Corso. Millions could be watching, and the city of Columbus is in on this. We're trying to look out for one another, and apparently we can't tell you when you're putting us at risk without you having a problem. I guess we would have to get the news and media involved in order for you to respond accordingly. Until then, we'll run our mouths a lot. Because we're going to be all right. Haircut.